Let's just shock every young person that's watching right now. Yes. Back to school is just around the corner. A couple weeks. But enjoy what you have right now, but we're going to give you some great tips when it comes to fantastic exercises to make sure you keep that proper posture, especially with all that weight, with that backpack on here to tell us more about it. We're joined by Amanda Sturzik. She's a certified Eccentrics for coming. instructor and, of course, owner of Eccentrics by Amanda. First of all, what is Eccentrics so that we get everybody on the same page? So it's a a unique dynamic stretching program. It's full body rebalancing where we're matching flexibility and strength of all 650 muscles in your body. So we like to think of the body as one muscle in 650 compartments. Okay. So if you think about your hair, you don't wash one part of your hair one day and comb another part the other day. You do your whole head of hair. So your body, it's the same. You need to move your whole body every day and work every muscle so that they're not atrophying. Well, and in particular for kids, going back to school, the backpack is probably one of the major issues, and then we'll get to sitting, because yes. they do a lot of yes. that yeah, even yeah. outside of yeah. school as well. Yeah. But talk a little bit about the backpack and how it can put some strain on so, the child. So, if you think about all the stuff that's going back and forth to school, you know, when we were kids and we went to school, we didn't carry metal water bottles, we didn't have Tupperware containers, they've got binders, textbooks, agendas and it puts a strain on their back. They tend to lean forward to help them carry it. Right. And if you're a teenager, you loosen the strap so it and drops down. It off so instead of everything lining up and having a proper load path with your body, you drop, you sag, you bend, and then your muscles shorten in the front, they get tight, and the muscles in the back loosen up. But loose is not the same as strong. They're actually loose and weak. Okay. So if your mother says, stand up straight, it's hard to because these are tight, these are weak, and your lower back is bothering you. And what doctors and chiropractors are finding is they're having kids as young as eight coming in with back pain, with chronic back pain problems, wow. and that shouldn't wow, be happening. Wow, at such a young age. No. So what are some of the exercises we can do to help, you know, negate this from happening with our kids? So I'm going to show you a few exercises. They're lots of fun. I've done them in lots of schools with kids. They love them. And what we're going to do is we're going to work posture, spinal flexibility and strength, rebalancing in the whole body. Um, with a sequence, uh, we're going to start with windmills. And the first thing you need to think about is your spine when we're doing the exercises. Imagine it's like a ladder. So you know each rung on a ladder is separate right. so that you have space for your feet. So when you think about your spinal column, you don't want it crunching down. You want to imagine there's that ladder. See, you both straight down. No, we both straight down. Like, right yes. yeah. <laughs> so, and Derek, you're just going to have to watch the yeah, top of the... Yeah, don't worry. I'll, so yeah. we're going to imagine our arms are like the blades of a windmill. So what okay. if you... I don't know if you want to put the mic down and... Here, I'll, I'll put it down. Okay. okay. So you're going to have one arm reaching up. So you have your ladder and then you're pulling up and you're going to feel it down your back, in your abdominals, in your obliques and your other arm is going to come back so you know the blades of a windmill oh so you, yeah but oh, we're going to do it slowly okay, i'm going to put mine down right? too okay. it's slow purposeful movement so that we're okay. working the muscles and so you have to op do you have to make sure that they're opposite or yes they're okay. moving in unison like a windmill okay so one arm reaches up one arm one arm is reaching down <laughs> and pull the forward arm forward keeping your back nice and tall pull them away from each other so you want to keep them there moving slowly try not to use your body okay oh, see, that's tough. <laughs> pull it up and you go forward and then you pull your arms away from each other okay now reverse it go the other way slow it down even more and you do this slowly correct like because you'll see some kids will sit there and they're whipping it like yeah. it is an actual windmill so. it's actually you know it's a hot day there's not much of a breeze it's a gentle breeze okay because i was i would be that kid yeah. doing that yeah they try to right <laughs> <laughs> so then the next one we go into is where we do a bit of a side to side windmill um and it's and I'll actually get you to hold the mic and I'll show you and I call okay. it superhero lunge with the kids because they love that superhero and I have them yell lunge. out like superhero. That. So when you're like this, you come up and go into a lunge. So I still have the nice okay. long ladder in my back and you're pulling up and then we lift up and go to the other side. This is a tricky one. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's an exercise in, in itself. Many ways, <laughs> microphone wise and exercise wise. Yes. So um, while we're doing this, yes. tell everybody you have an open house coming up because I don't want to wait right. to the very open end of the segment. Open house week, September 10th to 17th. These classes are for adults and seniors. And after we've done that, we want to we want to do a little bit of pulling weeds. So 
Reach forward, turn right. around. We're gonna pull weed. Pull weed. So imagine, you know, the weeds don't come out easily. The flowers do. So tuck your bum under. Use all your muscles. Contract them to come across. And then open behind your head. Good. And then you're going to do it on the other side. So reach across. Grab those weeds. They're finicky. And you're going to use your left hand now. Go across. Tuck under. Reach. Pull. So you're contracting your muscles without realizing you are because of the imagery we use. Good. Did you hear that cracking? I did. <laughs> We're going to get I the was, Rice Krispies was, back in your bowl. That's called age. <laughs> I think so. Well, no, it's not necessarily no, age. It's that you don't move that way. You right? don't. It's and then it's, it. it's knots in your muscles. It's little popping, so air popping in good. the joints. Cracking is good. So we'll okay. get the Rice Krispies out of your body and back into the bowl. I love it. And oh, you do eccentric, eccentrics in school as in well. Schools, you have a program. Yeah, classroom stretch. I do it in retirement homes. I do, I've taught ages 3 to 90. And everybody can do it. <laughs> and everybody oh, loves perfect. it. It feels great. Yeah. It does. I actually I feel love a little bit more like three of them. It feels amazing. <laughs> Amanda, thank you so much Thanks for joining for us. Make you. sure you get in touch with Amanda. It can help you whether you're senior or whether you're just a little tyke. Uh, we've got another great show tomorrow. We'll see you then. Thanks for watching, everybody.